Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing an all my doll video and this is my updated collection as of April of 2015 and I believe I'm not going to get any new dolls anytime soon because I'm pretty happy with how it looks and as of now I have 19 dolls and I'm gonna go through them all and introduce them to you and talk a little bit about them and I'm gonna do it like in little group groups so it doesn't think over the entire room so <laughs> okay see you first doll is me and St. Clair and she was the girl of the year of 2008 and I got her for my birthday in 2013. She got here on October 3rd. Her full name is Maria Louise St. Clair and I really like her. She's such a pretty doll and she's super special because she's my first doll. The second doll is Rufy Smithens and she has, she's a historical from 1934 and she's Kit's best friend. Sadly she's retired and I, I got her as a like advanced Easter gift last year and she got here on March 30th. Um, alongside her, I got Ivy Ling. Her, um, her full name is Ivy Margaret Ling, and she's also retired and she's a historical from 1974, and she is Julie's best friend. And I like her, I think she's so cute. It's a shame she's retired. And I got them together from my dad. These three dolls together, and to make a long story short, I got them the same day I got Mia. I mean, I bought them the same day I got Mia, but they took very, very long to get here, and so it took seven months for them for them to get here. And I think I got them in like late April or early May of 2014, and. They are my renamed Sage, who I named after the character from the X Files. So her name is Dana Catherine Scully, and then Caroline Mary Abbott, who is a historical from nine from 1812. She's so pretty. I really like her. I love her her eye color. And lastly, I have Norma Louise Bates, who is my my AG number 33, and she was named after Norma Bates from the movie Psycho and the series Bates Motel. We have Miss Addie who is Addie Walker and her full name is a Duke Nephilia Walker. And she is super special to me because she was the first doll that I got at the American Girl Place. I got to pick her out and it was really nice and it was a great experience. Um, she is just an awesome doll and it was kind of unforgettable to me so i have a very very special place for her and i also took her there when we went to the cafe for the first time so that was also a really memorable experience and yeah also um she is my favorite one of my favorite ag characters like she's she has the best books and i really like her so yeah <laughs> Moving on to the next dolls. Okay, so the next few dolls that I'm gonna show, I got them all on the same day. I uh, paid all of them with my own money. And yeah, I'm just going to make that disclaimer first. Except for Rebecca, Rebecca was a gift. And I got them on August 25th of last year. And it was a very cool day. I will never ever forget it. Anyways, let's go. So, first doll, Margaret, Margaret Mildred Kittredge, aka Kit Kittredge. And she is a historical from 1934. One of my favorites, who is Natalia Isabelle Lima. And she is my number 58. And I love her very, very much. She was named after one of my best friends. So, she's very, very special to me. And plus, I think she's so photogenic and I love her hair. Then we have my mini me, minus the freckles. And her full name is Beatrix Narcissa Lannister. And her name's pretty much just a variation of my first name. And then the rest of them are from some of my favorite characters in books. And she's number 61. And we have Wilmina Tuzuku. Um, she was named after my favorite character from Dracula and one of my friends. And she's number 30. And I love her so much. Her hair is just super easy and awesome to manage. I'm Miss Kaya, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce her full name because I don't want to 
butcher it because I don't really know how to pronounce it. So yeah, Kaya is her nickname. And I keep her mother most of the time. And she's such a pretty doll. I love her very much. Then we have Josefina Montoya. And she's a historical. Oh, I think she's super pretty and I just love her face mode. And lastly for this group, um, I have Evie. Evelyn Leaf Canahan is number 55 and she is definitely one of my favorites because she's super footed and plus she looks like me when I had dark hair so that's kind of cool <laughs> anyways now to the next group okay so now I have my last doll that I got on August 25th and it is Miss Rebecca Rubin and she is a historical character from 1914 and she was a gift from my mother for my birthday and she's one of my favorite dolls because she looks a lot like me when I was 10 11 years old mine is the freckles because I have freckles she's one of my favorite dolls personality wise as well because I can relate to her a lot I love Rebecca's collection and then and then we have my baby my angel my favorite Samantha Parkinson who named Samantha Lydia Parkinson and I got her August 28th when Be Forever officially came out and she is just my favorite doll for lots of reasons and I love her story, her collection and I love her, she's so pretty. The only doll that I have that stays 100% historical because I really don't like putting her in modern clothing. I have Elizabeth Natalie Coe and she's also a historical, she's from 1774 I believe. She's Felicity's best friend and suddenly she's retired. I think she's one of my prettiest dolls and she is just awesome. <laughs> I, tr I want to keep her historical but I don't have like that many outfits for her so that's kind of sad. Anyways, um, I got her I think late November, early December of last year. And I have the doll that literally was the struggle it was the struggle was very real to get her um I, but i did finally <laughs> which is kanani and she's really really pretty and i love her so much um i got her for christmas from my uncle she arrived here on january 6th of this year 2015 and and the last doll who is also was really hard to find and i'm really glad that i did because she's super pretty and AJ doesn't make her anymore. She is my AJ number four and she's doll number 19 and her name is Eloise Tarsu and I just adore her and I've been taking pictures of her like crazy for the past few months because she got here in February 6th literally one month after Kanani got here exactly one month after Kanani got here and I can't stop taking pictures of her because she's just so cute. Those are all of my dolls and if you guys want to see a closer look of any of them, feel free to leave a comment down below. I already have videos on Rebecca, Kaya, Addie, Samantha, Kanani, and Eloise. But if you want to see videos of anyone else, just leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Leave, please leave... Um, video ideas on the comments and also just uh, I just finished writing the script for my new series and once we move which should be which should be in a couple of weeks when my dad moves um, we're gonna start building the dollhouse which will be my set for this series so I'm like, super excited to share it with you guys so 